Hey everyone, hey, it's Kelly here again. Uh, it's been a while since I did a review, so I thought I'd throw one out there on an unusual ammo company called Aguila. Now, it's my understanding that it's a Mexican ammo manufacturer that gets handled here in the U.S. by a company called Centurion Ordnance. In any case, they make some really weird stuff, like half-length 12-gauge slugs, uh, super-fast 22 long rifle ammo, primer-only 22 ammo for backyard fun where it's legal, and these little guys right here, uh, the 22 long rifle sniper subsonics. Now it appears to be a 22 short shell with a gymungus 60 grain lead pill stuffed into the business end. I don't know exactly what they'd be good for other than maybe close in work with a can 22, but they're neat to play around with anyway. If you carry one of those little North American R's mini revolvers, uh, you might want to check these guys out. Okay, uh, we're just doing a function test with these uh, sniper subsonics. This is, I think the, it's called a Gila. That's how it's spelled. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I'll call it a Gila. Uh, these are the sniper subsonic rounds. We're just doing a, a function check through this Smith & Wesson 2206. So far everything's going fine, but uh, we'll see here. Tape them hitting the, hitting the mud. Ready? Yep. Okay, that's 10 rounds through. Uh, didn't have a problem. They're pretty consistent through this handgun. Uh, now we'll pattern them, see how they do, see if they keyhole. Okay, here we go. The Aguila SS sniper subsonic rounds, 60 grain, 22 caliber rounds through a 2206. We're going to see how they pattern at five yards. Six rounds. Come on, don't turn it off. Just come this way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Right. That's close enough for government work. Hard to tell if they're keyholing or not, but uh, they seem to be hitting uh, in a tight enough pattern anyway. Okay, that's it.